right here. I got it. Hurry up, Steve. Now! Did you know a quantum chip with just 58 qubits can outperform some of the world's most powerful supercomputers? Well, Google just used one to unlock a brand new state of matter, something that doesn't even exist in nature or show up in classical simulations. What does that even mean, and why does it matter? Let's break it down. What is a quantum chip? Regular computer chips use bits, either 0 or 1, to process information. Quantum chips use qubits, which can be 0, 1, or both at once due to superposition. They can also be entangled, allowing powerful connections that classical bits can't achieve. Google's Willow chip has 58 qubits, and that's already enough to explore quantum behavior beyond classical limits. It's not just faster, it's a whole new way of doing computation and physics. What did Google actually do? Instead of solving problems, Google used the Willow chip as a quantum lab to run a unique experiment. They tested how qubits behave under repeated energy pulses, leading to the discovery of a new state of matter. This state, a Floquet topologically ordered phase, doesn't exist in nature and can't be simulated by supercomputers. Creating it took precise timing and full control over how the qubits interacted. It's a major step in using quantum chips to explore physics, not just compute. What is a Floquet system? A Floquet system is what you get when you apply a steady, repeating input, like pulsing energy, to a group of quantum particles. It's named after a French mathematician who studied systems driven by periodic forces. In this context, it means the qubits are being driven in a regular rhythm, kind of like a drum beat, except instead of sound, it's precise microwave pulses hitting the chip. What's amazing is that this kind of repeated energy input doesn't just make the system unstable, it creates a whole new kind of order. The system settles into a stable pattern, but one that only exists because of the driving. It's not like ice, water, or steam, which are natural phases of matter. This is something entirely different, and it can only exist in non-equilibrium conditions created by quantum hardware like Willow. What does topologically ordered mean? Topological means focusing on patterns and connections rather than exact sizes or distances. In quantum systems, topological order is a strong, stable pattern linking qubits that resist noise and interference. This order helped create exotic quasi-particles called anions, which behave very differently from normal particles like electrons. When anions move around each other, they can actually change their identity or the state of the whole system. It's like a dance where the dancers swap places and even who they are. How did they do it? The scientists didn't stumble upon this by luck. They followed a very specific sequence of steps to guide the system into this new phase. First, they hit the chip's qubits with microwave pulses that flip their states in a controlled way. Then, they use special connections between neighboring qubits to create entanglement, which helps form the complex interactions needed for topological order. Next, they introduced z-axis detunings, slight shifts in the qubit's energy levels, which helped break time reversal symmetry and allowed one-way edge movement to appear. All of these steps were repeated in a cycle that lasted just 200 nanoseconds per round. The cycle was run 500 times, giving the system enough time to settle into this new exotic state. Every part of this had to be precisely timed. Even tiny errors could ruin the result. What did they see? Researchers used a method called interferometry to watch the system without disturbing it and saw that energy moved only along the edge of the chip while the center stayed quiet. This behavior, called chiral edge transport, is a clear sign of topological order. In normal systems, energy spreads everywhere, but here it flowed in just one direction along the edge, showing the chip had reached a floquet topologically ordered phase. As time went on, quasi-particles, tiny packets of energy, moved from the center to the edge. When they reached the edge, these quasi-particles changed type in a process called quasi-particle transmutation. These new particles are called Floquet anyones, which don't behave like regular particles. When these anyones were braided around each other, the system's wave function shifted by a fractional phase, proving they have fractional statistics, a unique feature of topologically ordered quantum systems. Why does this matter? This experiment is a big deal for a few key reasons. 
First, it proves that quantum chips can be used as platforms for exploring new physics, not just for running programs. Think of it like using a telescope, not to take pictures, but to discover entirely new stars. Quantum processors like Willow are now becoming experimental tools for investigating the unknown. Second, and maybe more importantly, these quantum effects can't be faked or simulated by classical computers. Even the biggest supercomputers out there today can't accurately model what Google just did. The quantum world is just too fast, too tangled, and too complex. That means the only way to study some of these states of matter is to build them with real quantum hardware. One of the long-term goals of quantum computing is to build systems that are reliable and fault-tolerant. The problem is, qubits are super sensitive. They get messed up easily by noise or small disturbances. But topological systems are known for being naturally resistant to these kinds of issues. That makes them really attractive for building better, more stable quantum chips. So this experiment doesn't just help us understand new states of matter. It could also lead to the creation of topological qubits, which are basically qubits that carry built-in error protection. That would be a massive step forward in making quantum computers useful in the real world. Beyond the practical side, there's something even deeper going on here. Some physicists believe that studying non-equilibrium quantum phases like this could help us understand fundamental ideas, like how time flows or whether the universe has hidden symmetries we haven't discovered yet. There are even discussions about how these states might relate to multiverse theories. While that might sound like science fiction, the truth is, every major scientific breakthrough starts with experiments like this. We don't fully know where this path leads yet, but unlocking a new state of matter is a huge step in the right direction. Google's Willow chip, with just 58 qubits, was used to create a new state of matter that doesn't exist in nature. By applying periodic driving, the team discovered a floquet topologically ordered phase with energy moving only along the edges. They even observed quasi-particles changing type, proving behavior that classical physics can't explain. This breakthrough shows that quantum chips can explore deep physics, not just compute, hinting at the existence of parallel quantum realities where particles exist in multiple states simultaneously. These systems can simulate multiverse-like conditions through superposition and entanglement, allowing quantum information to evolve along different paths at once. Such behavior supports theories about quantum parallel worlds, where every quantum event branches into multiple outcomes. This opens new possibilities for understanding fundamental physics and the nature of reality itself. Next up, larger chips, quantum error correction, and simulating exotic materials like room temperature superconductors. It's a big step, not just for tech, but for understanding the quantum universe. Thanks for sticking around. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.